Guys, I think my hair grew shorter. Well, hello guys, this is Ryan Parko, and welcome to my channel, Parkduction. Recently, I've been thinking about a lot of things, and one of those things happened to be Deja Vu. Now, Deja Vu is a really weird thing that happens, but lately, I've been having Deja Vu a lot, and I don't know why, but it just happens. Like, I go to bed, dream of something, wake up, and it just happens right there. You know, sometimes I get deja vu in my dreams. Like, I dream like a year ago of something happening, and then I just dream it again. I don't know. It's, does that count as deja vu? I, I, I don't know. So what I'm going to do is give my theories about deja vu and just basically tell you guys what it's all about. So my first theory that I have has to do with time and space. That probably didn't make any sense right there, but I'll explain it in a second. So this is how my theory works. In our world, we have time. We have minutes, we have seconds, we have hours, we have days, we have a bunch of time and a bunch of stuff like that. My theory, which is far off fetch of reality, but I say that there is no time in dreams. What do you mean there's no time in dreams, Brian? Well, what I mean is basically in your dream, I feel like there could possibly be like no time. Like, you know how there's time in real life in your dream? There might not be any time. So maybe you're recalling a memory that you had in the future. Ever thought about that? Now another theory that I've had is the 10% theory. So you know how people say that we only use 10% of our brains? Well, maybe we can actually see the future. Maybe we know what's going to happen, but we just can't get to it in this thing. But through our dreams, like, I don't know, maybe we can get to it. Scientists don't even know how majority of our brains work. So how would they know that when we dream, we use more of our brain and happen to be able to tell the future? Possibility? I think yes. My third theory on this, well, let's just call it the remembering theory. So this is one theory that I guess could work, but you guys can be the judge of that. So for this theory, maybe I thought maybe you're not actually dreaming of it. Maybe you just thought it was a dream. Maybe when you recognized it, your brain just kind of made it a memory right before you recognized it. You know what I mean? Like you saw something, your brain takes that information, puts it in your memory saying that it was a dream that you had before, but it wasn't. And then a millisecond later, you're like, oh, I just saw that. Maybe that happens. I don't, I don't know. So those are my three theories that I had. I don't know if any of them are close to reality, but then again, who's close to reality? Right? So because of this deja vu thing, I'm going to try and experiment. Every time I dream a dream, I'm going to write it down in a notebook. And let me get that notebook. I'm going to be start keeping my dreams in this journal that I got, alright? So every time I have a dream, I'm going to write it down in here. That way, when I have deja vu again, I can prove it to you guys. And I'll have a great story to tell. And speaking of dreams, what if this whole time, this was a dream? Oh, that was a weird dream. Seems so... Wait, what's going on? No! Well, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This was actually all ad lib. I had no plan whatsoever for this. And if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you think I should do more of this, please give it another thumbs up. But you can't do that, so make it one big thumbs up or just a triangle thumbs up. I don't know, either way works, I don't know. But anyways, please check out my other videos to the left and right of me and hit that subscribe button down there. And have a great day. So, bye.